Hello, everybody. There we go. We're live. Hi, everyone. Welcome to your yoga oils class for digestion. So we're going to be doing um, a quick tutorial at the start, and I can show you how to make a really nice blend for any digestive discomfort that you might feel. I'm just going to turn off my heater real quick. There we go. You can hear me a bit better. So um, yeah, so it's a blend that you can use anytime you have a bit of tummy discomfort and you can just massage it onto your stomach. And then we'll get onto our yoga mats and we will do a yoga practice for digestion. So it'll be lots of like twists and um, stretching the front of your body. Just play any music that you want for your yoga practice. Um, grab some water or tea or whatever you'd like to have for your class. And um, for the yoga practice, we are going to be using a couple of yoga blocks today. If you don't have yoga blocks, that's okay. You can um, just use like a stack of books and, um, and just sub that in uh, whenever we use the blocks. So let's get started with the oils. Uh, so this is actually the blend that a lot of people, um, they get kind of like hooked on oils with because they actually feel the results of it. It actually really helps. Um, so like I've mentioned in the past couple of classes, um, oils start working pretty quickly. They start to work at a cellular level once put on topically um, within about 20 minutes. And um, because it's like getting into your bloodstream and working at this cellular level, you do want to make sure you're using really high quality oils. Um, so I sell um, the oils that um, I show you in our, all of our classes and that um, do have a really good um, quality promise. So it's their uh, seed to seal promise where basically they ensure that from the time the seed is put into the ground um, all the way until they put the seal on the bottle, it is monitored every step of the way to make sure that um, you're given the highest quality possible and it's all ethical and good for the environment, all their practices are. So um, that's the brand that I trust and that I use and um, if you want to get them from me, I'd be happy to set you up with them. So um, again, I'll show you from their starter kit, um, the ones that we're using today. We are using, da, 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 we're using peppermint. We use that in our first class. And we are using Digize. So Digize is the really good digestive one. Um, and of course, peppermint is always known for soothing any upset tummies and stuff like that. So um, these two, together, working together, um, is a really beautiful blend to help you with any uh, discomfort that you're feeling. I will warn you, Digize, it's an awesome blend full of oils that are good for digestion. Um, it doesn't smell the greatest, <laughs> so I, it's not one that you would like diffuse or anything like that. It's strictly for when you need um, help um, with some bloating or discomfort or anything, uh, rub this one on and it'll really, really help. Um, when you blend it with the peppermint, it does smell a lot better. Um, so I know a lot of people like to do this blend um, whenever they feel a bit of um, discomfort. Um, and then there's also one that's sold uh, made for kids uh, that's called like Tummy Jize. And um, a lot of adults will use that one too because it does smell a little bit better. And you can use it on kiddos as well. So um, for the blend, you are going to put... 20 drops of the Digize in a 10 ml bottle that looks like this. And then top it off with 10 drops of your peppermint. So then those 30 drops will be together in your 10 ml roller bottle that looks like this. And you just fill the rest up with your carrier oil. Um, I use the fractionated coconut oil that I showed you before. Um, but if you want to know more about other carrier oils, you can just send me a message and I'd love to give you more information on that. And that's it. So once you've made your roller for your uh, tummy, all you'll do is um, put the roller cap on and then you'll, anytime you feel like you need some assistance, um, what you'll do is you'll just do in a clockwise direction. 
around your belly button and then massage it in and then it should start to work pretty quickly after that. Okay, great, so let's get on our yoga mats now and we will get into our digestion class. So you're just gonna take one of your blocks and come down onto your butt. Knees bent, soles of your feet on the floor. You're gonna lift your hips up into your bridge pose and slide your block underneath your low sacrum. Okay, so low sacrum, I'll show you, is right around here, just underneath your hips. So if the block is on your low back, that's gonna be really uncomfortable, that's too high, you need to slide it down a little bit. And if it's only on your glutes, that's too low. So find that sweet spot right under your hips there. Okay. And then you want to make sure that your ankles are directly underneath your knees and feet are about hip width distance apart. So from here, arms can be heavy on your mat or you can take them into a cactus position to open your chest a bit more or a diamond shape over your head. Shin remains towards your chest. So try not to move your head side to side once you get into this position. And feel the back of your neck lengthen along your mat. Take a deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. Settling into this space. And with every exhale, I want you to feel your hips ground down into that block or the stack of books that you might be using a little bit more. Shoulders are relaxed, your jaw is soft. And just take some nice deep diaphragmatic breaths here. So really filling the diaphragm as you breathe in and fully breathing out on every exhale. From here, you're going to guide your right knee in towards your chest. Okay, and then if it's more comfortable, you can keep your left leg bent or you can start to slide your leg along your mat so it straightens and then you'll start to feel a nice stretch along the front of your hip flexor here. Just make sure that you're not rolling over to the side. Both hips are grounded into that block beneath you. And you're just gently guiding your right knee in towards your chest. If it feels better to you, you can start to guide your knee towards your right armpit. And we are in our wind relieving pose. I'm just going to hold that for a few breaths. Staying in position. Nice deep breaths in, full breaths out. Good, take two more deep breaths here. Nice, and then you'll slowly Glide your heel, your left heel back, so your sole of your foot is back on your mat. Release the right leg down. Other side, bring your left knee in towards your chest. Lengthen your right leg along your mat. And maybe left knee is towards the center of your body, or maybe you bring your knee towards the left armpit. Yogi's choice. Making sure both those hips are grounded. 
Elvis is level. Back of your neck is nice and long. And you're still taking those deep diaphragmatic breaths. So every time you breathe in, you can feel your stomach pressing into the top of your thigh. And every time you breathe out, you sink down into the position a little bit more. Three more deep breaths. Excellent. So slowly bring that right leg back in and release your left foot down. We're going to come off of that block now. So lift your hips up, slide the block out, open your arms either into a T shape where fingertips line up with your shoulders or cactus arms at a 90 degree angle and just windshield wiper your knees from side to side. And you can rock your head side to side as well, turning your head in the opposite direction of your knees, giving the back of your skull and your low back a little massage here. Good. And then the next time your knees fall over to the right, you're going to leave them there and turn your chin towards your left shoulder. Option to take your block and put them underneath your knees for some support. And we're just going to hold the supine twist for three deep breaths. Anytime we twist, um, it's really good for detoxifying the body, great for your digestive system. Rinsing out any toxins. Awesome. Take it over to the other side. Knees come up and over to the left, and you turn your chin towards your right shoulder. Maybe you just let your knees fall to the side, or maybe you support them with a block for your stack of books. Beautiful. Now bring your head back to center, and if you are supporting your knees, take that prop out. Roll all the way over onto your left side, cradling your head with your arm in your fetal position. Deep breath in. Full breath out. And push yourself up to seated. it. All right, so let's come into our tabletop position on hands and knees and make sure you've got both your blocks at the top of your mat. You wanna make sure that in tabletop, wrists, elbows, and shoulders are all stacked in one long line. Knees are directly underneath your hips. And when you look in between your knees, you shouldn't be able to see your feet. They're pointing directly behind you. Now we're gonna to start to flow through some cat cows here. Inhale, drop your belly, open your chest, gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round your spine, push your yoga mat away from you and drop your head. Inhale, stretch the abdominal muscles, open your heart out wide. Exhale, press the ground away from you, puffing up between the shoulder blades, belly button to your spine. Take a couple more movements just like that. Deep breath in to open and stretch the front line of your body and a deep breath out to open and stretch the spine and the back of your body. Beautiful, two more. Last one. And come back to your neutral spine. Step your right foot in between your hands. Low runner's lunge. You can use your blocks underneath your hands if you'd like. And from here, you're going to slide your hips forward, knees stacked over top of your ankle, and sweep your arms up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Take a breath in here, lengthen through your fingertips. Hips are square to the front of your mat. 
Exhale, draw hands to heart center. From here, imagine you have a rope attached to your belly button and that rope is gonna twist you around. So you're twisting from your belly button to hook your left elbow past your right knee. You can keep the prayer position at your heart or you can open your arms, whichever feels better for you. Take one more breath here. And on an exhale, slowly unwind and bring your hands back down onto your mat. Curl your toes under, lift up your back knee, step up into your standing forward fold at the top of your mat. Feet are hip width distance apart, that's approximately two fists. And let your head be really heavy. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, sweep your arms up, reach up. Big stretch to your fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart center. Next, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, dive down, hinging from your hips, you dive down. Beautiful, step your right foot back and lower down onto your right knee. Good, so now we have left knee stacked over top of your left ankle. Gliding your hips forward, you're gonna sweep your arms up. Hips are squared to the top of your mat. So you may need to shift left hip back, right hip forward to make sure they're nice and squared and level. Deep breath in, stretch through fingertips. Exhale, draw hands to heart center. Now again, imagine you have that rope attached to your belly button and it's twisting you around until you hook your right elbow past your left knee. Awesome, now you can keep hands at heart center or open them up, whichever feels best to you. Every exhale, you twist a little bit more, rinsing out like a tea towel that's wringing out. Excellent. On an exhale, you're going to unwind, come back to center, place your hands on your mat, slide left foot back to meet right. You're in a modified plank position now. Inhale here. Exhale, squeeze elbows to ribs, lower all the way down. Good job. Now you're going to walk your hands out to the outsides of your yoga mat and tent up on your fingertips. So you can imagine you have like cupcakes underneath your hands. We're going into our King Cobra. So you'll lead from the back of your throat to peel yourself up off of your mat. Inhale, lift your gaze. Gaze is the last thing to come up. Exhale, slowly slide back down. Inhale, peel yourself up. Exhale, with control, lower back down. Excellent, one more. Up into your King Cobra, lift your gaze. Exhale, melt your body back down into your mat. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Press through your tabletop position and into a downward facing dog. Once you're in your down dog, you can pedal up your feet. Maybe bend and straighten your knees. We're looking for length in your spine. So if your heels don't come down onto your mat, that's okay. I'd rather see bent knees and a flat, long spine than forced heels and no uh, length in your spine, okay? So keep that back nice and long. Actively press the mat away from you with the palm of your hands. Lift your gaze, tiptoe your feet all the way up to your hands to find your standing forward fold back at the top of your mat. On a breath in, you're gonna sweep your arms up over your head. Exhale, draw hands to heart center. Well done. From here, you're gonna sit into your chair pose. So, sinking hips down. Knees are directly over top of your ankles again. Back is nice and long, chest is proud. Engage your core, inhale here, exhale. Twist to the left, hook right elbow past your left knee. Excellent. Inhale back through center. 
exhale, twist to the right, hook your left elbow past your right knee. Amazing. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist and switch. Nice. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Hook your uh, right elbow past your left knee. Come up onto your right tippy toes and just step your right foot back. So now you're in a twisted crescent lunge. You're actively squeezing those inner thighs, twisting from the belly button. Beautiful. For three, two, and one. Slowly unwind, coming into your crescent lunge. Reach your arms up over your head. Beautiful. From here, you can bring your hands to your hips. And I'll just get you to step your back foot in slightly. And you can plant the sole of your foot on your mat and straighten your front leg. We're going into our pyramid pose. So, once again, make sure that those hips are um, forward <laughs> and level. Um, so you might need to shift your left hip back, right hip forward. And then we're going to hinge from the hips and fold over top of the left leg. Now this is where your blocks could come in handy again. You can just place your hands on your blocks and release your head down. Legs are nice and long and straight, but your knees are not locked. So be mindful of um, your knees. Make sure they're not hyperextended or locked at all. There's still a slight bend in them. Keeping your head heavy, jaw nice and soft. Three more breaths here. And then you're going to slowly walk your right hand in towards the inside of your left foot. We're going into a revolved pyramid pose. So again, imagine that rope attached to your belly button, rotating you around, and you're going to lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Beautiful, you can gaze towards your hand, forward or down, whichever you feel most comfortable with. Good, nice and long through your side body. Slowly release your hand back down and step up into your mountain pose at the top of your mat. Other side, sweep your arms up over your head. Exhale, sit down into your chair pose. Twist to hook left elbow past your right knee. Ground down through your right foot, come up onto left hip toes and step back into your twisted crescent lunge. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Well done. And we slowly unwind, reaching the arms up into crescent lunge. Beautiful, step this back foot in. Plant your foot down, straighten your front leg. Hips square to the top of your mat. Hinge from your hips, fold over top of your right leg. Release your head down. Good. Maintaining mindful of those hips. Shift right hip back slightly, left hip forward. Long through the legs, but knees are not locked. Jaw is nice and soft. Head is heavy. Take three deep diaphragmatic breaths. Excellent. Let's start to get into our revolved pyramid posture now. So left hand or block will go to the inside of your right foot. Rotate from your belly button and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Gaze wherever feels most comfortable for you. Maybe that's down on your mat. Maybe that's towards the side wall. 
or it's up towards the ceiling. Yogi's choice. Beautiful last breath here. And on an exhale, you release your hand down. Go ahead, step your back foot forward, making your way into mountain pose at the top of your mat. Excellent, heel toe your feet out to the outer edges of your mat. Toes will point out, heels point in. Guide hands to heart center. And we're gonna sink down into our malasana. So malasana looks like this. Your elbows are on the insides of your knees and your spine is nice and long. Yogi's choice, you can sit on a block if that's more comfortable for you. And you want to be squeezing your knees in towards your triceps and actively pushing your arms back into your knees. Good. Crown of your head is lifted up towards the ceiling. Holding and breathing for five deep breaths. And close your eyes if you'd like. Excellent. From here, if you, have, if you were sitting on a block, you can remove it and bring your hands behind you to slowly come down onto your sit bones. Good job. To keep your hands behind you, gently windshield wiper your knees side to side. Keep windshield wipering your knees. Noticing how your body is feeling. And from here, you're going to slowly come down onto your back. Good. Now, bring knees in towards your chest, and you're just going to massage your stomach here. Rocking side to side, maybe rotating your knees. Beautiful. Keep the right knee in towards your chest. Extend left leg long in front of you. Back into that wind relieving posture. We're just staying here for a breath. And then we're going to transition into a twist, our supine twist. Left knee stays, or left hand stays on your right knee. And you'll open your right arm out to the side. Fingertips line up with your shoulder. Now guide your right knee across your body and into the twist. If it's more comfortable, you can use one of your blocks to support your knee. Or you can just bring your knee down as far as it'll go. Keep, you can keep your head at center or turn your chin towards your right shoulder. Now you want to make sure you're still sinking that right shoulder blade down into your mat. We're getting a nice juicy twist here. Excellent. Slowly guide your knee back in towards your chest. Give a little squeeze and then send your leg out long in front of you. Other side, guide your left knee in towards your chest now. Taking a quick wind relieving posture. And on an exhale, you're going to guide yourself into that twist. Right hand guides your ne left knee across your body. Left arm opens out to the side. Maybe your chin falls over to your left shoulder. Ensuring you're sinking that left shoulder down into your mat so that the twist is coming from your core. So 
close your eyes if you'd like. And sink into the twist a little bit more with every exhale. Good. Slowly guide your knee back to center. Bring both knees back in towards your chest and we're going to move into a happy baby as our last stretch for the day. So you can come into modified happy baby by just drawing your knees down towards your armpits or flex your feet up towards the ceiling and hold on to either the outsides of your feet, your ankles, or loop peace fingers around your big toes to draw the knees down towards the outsides of your armpits. Happy baby, you can stay still and just focus on the breath and the stretch, or you can uh, play around with it by straightening and bending each knee, maybe rocking side to side. Notice whatever feels good for you today. Again, you want to keep the back of your neck nice and long, so chin towards your chest. Taking those deep diaphragmatic breaths. As you breathe in, you should feel your ribs pressing into your inner thigh. And as you breathe out, they sink away and you soften into position a little bit more. Slowly bring your knees back in towards center. Give them a little squeeze. And then send your legs out long in front of you. We'll take a little Shavasana here to let everything integrate. Letting your limbs be really heavy. Feet flop open. Fingers curl in. Your jaw softens. And your whole body starts to melt into the yoga mat beneath you. Feeling this sensation of peace wash over your body. Sending gratitude to every cell, every muscle, every organ. Thanks to your body for what it does for you on a daily basis. like to set an intention for the rest of your day. You can bring that into your mind now. Just be one word that you want to have to find the rest of your day today. And whenever you feel ready, you're going to start to bring movement back into your body. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, rotate wrists and ankles. Walk your head side to side. Of course, if you want to stay in Shavasana longer, feel free to stay as long as you'd like. When you are ready to come out, you'll just roll back onto your left side, taking your fetal position, and slowly press yourself up to see it. Come on, hands to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for yoga today. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.
Thank you so much for coming to yoga today and learning about the essential oils for digestion. I hope you had a great class. And of course, if you want to get any of those oils that I mentioned today or any of my pre-made blends, um, I'll post the links for those um, and you can always message me with any questions you have. Bye now. Namaste. Have a great day.